Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be discussing how to write multi-step proofs. Let's take a look at the first example. Given AE is concurrent to BC, so first let's mark up our diagram. Angle E is congruent to angle C, and D is the midpoint of EC. I'm going to circle the word midpoint and D is the midpoint. Notice that I have to prove angle ADE congruent to angle BDC. Those aren't triangles, so that means that the reason for that proof statement is CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Before I can prove using CPCTC, I first have to prove the two triangles are congruent. Triangle AED is congruent to triangle BCD. Let's take a look at filling in the proof. So the first statement is always the givens. And I write given as my reason. The second step, I always look for vertical angles or reflexive property, but I don't have either in this question. I do have that word midpoint though. So I'm gonna write the definition of a midpoint for my reason. A midpoint creates two congruent Now we have to determine what the statement is. Remember, D is my midpoint, so D is cutting line segment EC into two congruent parts, ED and CD. So CD is congruent to ED. Is that enough information to prove the two triangles congruent? Yes. So triangle AED is congruent to triangle BCD by what method? Side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. So step three, side, angle, side, congruent to side, angle, side. And my last statement should be my proof statement. Angle ADE is congruent to angle BDC. And remember, the reason is CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Let's look at another proof. Given AD is a perpendicular bisector of BC, prove AB congruent to AC. So notice for this question, I have two vocabulary words, perpendicular and bisector. We know we'll end up having to write the definitions of both of those. Let's look at the proof statement. I'm proving that AB is congruent to AC, two line segments. So we know that the reason has to be CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. In order to prove that, we must first prove that the two triangles are congruent. Triangle BDA congruent to triangle CDA. Number one, we write our givens. AD is a perpendicular bisector of BC. And we're gonna write given. Now remember, our second statement either has to be reflexive or vertical. In this case, we're told that it's gonna to be reflexive. What part or what line segment is shared in both triangles? That would be AD. So we're going to say AD is congruent to AD by the reflexive property. 
next, it says angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. I don't have that in my diagram, so I need to put it. So remember, I see the word perpendicular, so that means I'm going to have right angles. So draw in 1 and 2, those are right angles. So my reason is perpendicular lines form congruent 90 degree angles. Next it says BD is congruent to CD. Let's take a look. BD is congruent to CD. What vocabulary word have we not used yet? That would be bisector. We're going to write the definition of bisector. A bisector creates two congruent parts. Do we have enough information to prove the two triangles congruent? Let's see. Side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. So we do. So triangle BDA is congruent to triangle CDA. And again, if I'm trying to prove AB is congruent to AC, since we already know the two triangles are congruent, then we know corresponding parts of congruent triangles are also congruent, CPCTC.